Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this code AB and this uh, perpendicular CD fully confined uh, in a quarter circle with the center O oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, they intersect each other at this point uh, E so that uh, this segment uh, CE equal to this segment uh, DE. And moreover, this segment uh, AD is 8 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are interested in calculating the area of uh, this uh, yellow shaded uh, region, and now let's make an observation. We can see the yellow shared region area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, quarter circle minus uh, the area of this uh, right triangle uh, AOB. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and the area of this uh, right triangle uh, AOB as well. So therefore, we must uh, find the radius of this quarter circle first. Let's assume that this uh, is the radius uh, of this quarter circle. Let me label this one as lowercase r. And likewise, this uh, OB is lowercase r as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle AOB. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, OB equal to this side length uh, AO. Both of them are uh, radius uh, R. So therefore, since this is an isosceles triangle, if this angle is uh, theta, then this angle has got to be theta as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this angle and this angle, uh, both of them are uh, corresponding angles and they are congruent. So therefore, if this angle is theta, then this angle has got to be theta as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, ADE. And now we can see that this uh, tiny green right triangle ADE is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is theta and this angle is theta as well. So therefore uh, this side length uh, DE equals to this side length uh, AD. If this side length is uh, 8 uh, then this uh, DE segment uh, is going to be 8 uh, as well. So therefore our this segment uh, DE is uh, 8 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, DE segment uh, equal to this uh, CE segment. And we know that this uh, DE segment is 8 units. So therefore our this uh, CE segment is going to be 8 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, AO length uh, is lowercase r and this uh, ad length uh, is 8 so therefore uh, this uh, do length uh, is going to be lowercase r minus uh, 8 and in this uh, next step i have connected this center o with this uh, point uh, c and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, cdo and now let's focus once again on this right triangle cdo we can see that this uh, CO is the radius uh, of this quarter circle. So therefore, I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And moreover, this whole uh, side length of this uh, triangle CD is going to be 8 uh, plus 8 is going to give us uh, 16. And this uh, side length uh, is uh, r minus 8. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, uh, this uh, r is our longest leg. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have a r minus 8 whole square plus 16 square equal to r square. And now let's recall this famous identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a a square minus 2ab plus b square, we are going to apply it on the left hand side uh, binomial. So therefore this is going to give us uh, r square minus 16r plus uh, 64 
plus 16 square is 256 equal to r square and now we can see this r square and r square they are gone so therefore let's combine the like terms we're going to have a negative 16 r plus 320 is going to be equal to zero and now we are going to subtract 320 from both sides this is gone so therefore negative 16 r is going to be equal to negative 300 and 20. Let's divide both sides by negative 16. This is gone. So therefore our radius r turns out to be positive 20 units. So therefore the radius of this quarter circle AO turns out to be 20 units. And likewise this other radius BO is going to be 20 units as well. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate the area of this quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle, so therefore uh, the quarter circle area is going to be pi r square divided by 4. So therefore this quarter circle area is going to become uh, pi divided by 4 times our radius is 20, so 20 whole square. So therefore this is going to give us uh, 400 pi divided by 4 and if we simplify furthermore that is going to give us uh, 100 pi square units. So therefore the area of this uh, quarter circle turns out to be 100 pi and here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle AOB. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, our uh, height is uh, 20. And likewise, our base is uh, 20 as well. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, AOB is going to be a half uh, times uh, 20 times uh, 20 as well. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, uh, that is going to give us uh, 200 square units. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle AOB turns out to be 200. And here's our final step. Let's recall once again this uh, equation. The yellow shaded area is going to be equal to this uh, quarter circle area minus the area of the triangle AOB. And we already figured out our quarter circle area is 100 pi and our this uh, triangle AOB area as 200. Now we are going to fill in the blanks. So our quarter circle area is uh, 100 pi minus uh, AOB area is uh, 200. So that's our yellow shared region area turns out to be 100 pi minus uh, 200 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 114.16 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.